In this lesson, we're going to make the piece of the lid that will secure it to the box bottom. Now, the first thing we want to do is to draw another box shape. So I'm going to come over here and grab the box, pull it onto my work plane, and let me do the home view here. I want to go ahead and make that. Let's just start with it being the same size as the box originally at 100 millimeters across by 70 millimeters. All right. Okay, so I've got it to be 100 millimeters by 70 millimeters. Now, clearly we don't need it to be very high. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and instead of 20 millimeters, I'm gonna bring it down to just about three. That's really all we need. If I were to click and drag this on top of the box right now, it would fit like exactly on top of it, like the same size as the image generated lid. That's not what we want. We need something that fits down inside the box. So if you remember, we have three millimeter walls all the way around. So each one of these walls on the box, this one, this one, and the, and the other two are three millimeters thick. So let's go ahead and shave off just like we did Previously, let's go ahead and shave off for the hole six millimeters in each direction. So now we'll be at 94. And we're going to go to 64. Okay. Now, if I were to move this lid and put this right here, let me raise that up actually. Just grab the cone, raise it up. Remember, we're going to do 35 and move it right here it's going to be a really, really, really tight fit. It might not go down in the walls, especially depending on the printer. So instead of making it the exact size of the opening, let's make it a little bit smaller. So instead of 64, let's go to 63. And instead of 94, let's go over to 93. Okay, so 93 by 63. And now if I click and drag this, it's going to give me just a little bit of room on each side so that it'll fit down in there. So what we want is for it to fit down like that and for this piece to rest on top of it. Okay, so this would be our completed box. So if I were to break out the pieces separately, you could do that so you had them on each, each one on a separate work plane. Remember, we do have our box on a separate work plane, so I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one. I would actually recommend putting these two on a, a separate work plane as well. Let me go ahead and lower this one down to zero, so it sits on there. Uh, and the reason I would put each one of these on a separate work plane is just really for printing, because if you're trying to 3D print this and the filament has to separate, like it has to stop doing this one and then go over and start doing this one, it might mess up. So if you just have it printing one thing at a time and then you piece them together when it's done, typically that works a little bit better. So let me also bring this one down to zero. Okay, so that is our box lid.